from Bahrain, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Public Sector Bahrain. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is theCUBE's coverage here for AWS Summit. We are in Bahrain in the Middle East. Cloud computing is changing the game, telling all the top stories. Cloud computing degrees are now being offered. Amazon's region is now operational. Our next guest is Maze Rehan, Chief Technology Officer at Aramex, big global provider of logistics and transportation services. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John, thank you for having me. So you were on a panel this morning, We Power Tech, it's a women in tech panel. Congratulations. Thank you. But you're also the CTO of a really big logistics and transportation company going to the cloud. Yes. Tell us the story. So, uh, so uh, I work for Aramex, and Aramex is a global leader in transportation logistics. Uh, we have, uh, we're proud uh, to have a diverse culture, and we have 30% uh, of our management are females. So uh, uh, it's only natural to have uh, a female CTO. Uh, but uh, for Aramex, uh, 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 the whole digital transformation journey and the cloud adoption started uh, uh, like all other enterprises when the whole cloud wave started and we found ourselves competing with uh, corporates that are uh, uh, not competing with the classical competitors for, from the logistic industry, but rather competing with uh, uh, innovators are, are, uh, uh, and companies that are really consuming the best out of the cloud in terms of speed and agility. So we had to transform and uh, we created a digital transformation roadmap and we fired multiple programs and uh, this is how it started and now we're proud to have uh, a big data lake on AWS and uh, uh, we moved a lot of our business processes to be derived uh, from, uh, from our machine learning logic that's there. Uh, we're modernizing our landscape and moving. Uh, uh, so you guys are big logistics, a lot of compute power is needed, a lot of IT, now moving to AWS, yeah. which is also in the logistics business, they move a lot of packages around of their business. A lot of compute, a lot of storage, a lot of IT. Why the shift to the cloud? What was the uh, reason? Well, uh, agility is the most important thing, and being able to pro to create MVPs for for all the ideas that we might have, uh, what that we might have to support the business, but also uh, furthermore because we needed uh, 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 massive computing power. Uh, because whenever you're in, in service sector, uh, you're, the number of transactions that you process and the speed of processing those transactions needs to be uh, tremendous. And that's the power of the cloud. Scaling up uh, uh, by the end of, uh, at the end of the month when you want to invoice invoices with, with 100K items, uh, this is what we, we were looking for. So digital transformation is complex for you. You have IT, you have your back office, you have a huge organization IOT must be a big part of it too because you've got to keep track of everything. How big is the IOT or the industrial IOT component of it? Well, uh, for, for our industry, IOT is very, very relevant. It's going to be transformational on, uh, on shipment tracking, uh, handling, uh, 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 and it will shift the way we do business. Uh, the, the, one of the main drivers of, of building our big data uh, uh, on AWS was the fact that we want to feed uh, IoT findings and sensors reading to the cloud. This is something that we're very serious about. We're, we're actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say that uh, 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 we haven't seen most of the innovations that are related to, to that. Uh, uh, and, and I think uh, uh, we had some success stories, but for certain uh, sectors like pharmaceuticals and so on, but uh, the minute those sensors would be uh, commercialized and feasible enough to be attached to each and every package, we will be the first to... Uh, to you know, we love talking about cloud 2.0, a whole new generation is coming. Yeah. You have compute, you got storage, it's either on-premise or it's going to be in the cloud. The network now is important because we've mm -hmm. got you know, 5G and other you know, uh, radio frequency capabilities, tracking, mm -hmm. real-time data. Do you move compute to the data? So an entire paradigm of computing is shifting. Yes. Yeah, we, we know it's uh, shifting from, from the traditional way of doing things, where you have your own data centers and the whole communication and networking setup is built to service uh, 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 this uh, architecture of, of local data centers. Introducing the cloud 
uh, would be, it would be a challenge how do you connect both of them. But uh, the way we did it, because we were very serious about the cloud uh, move, uh, we prepared right from the beginning. So we knew the locations that we selected for our data centers and how close and how we're going to connect them with our uh, uh, own data centers for, for the hybrid setup. When we run both, uh, we were uh, we took it very seriously and we we changed the whole ecosystem that comes around. So, so you got your data lake now. So analytics are important. Yes, data lake. We moved our data lake and we moved our BI as well, uh, uh, reporting to to AWS, and we created. Uh, um, a layer of, of logic, data science logic, to derive uh, uh, business processes like uh, last mile delivery, uh, geocoding, address prediction, uh, as well as uh, understanding market uh, trends and everything. So how's it going with Amazon so far, good? It's going, uh, doing very, very well. Uh, we've had this data for so long and, uh, and, uh, and it's a wealth of knowledge of the specific for our industry. We want to bring the best out of it and, uh, and we could do that. And you have in-house developers can you talk a little bit about the dynamic? Is it mostly, you had that for a while, right? Mostly developers? Yes, we do have. For years, actually, we've been an in-house development company. We were building our own applications, uh, uh, like uh, on a very wide range, uh, with very uh, good and strict uh, 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 production and DevOps uh, processes. Uh, uh, we're now we're shifting our development towards the cloud. We're very open to, uh, to uh, to start developing uh, uh, on AWS and to adopt even uh, low-code platforms, uh, whatever makes us uh, move faster and uh, in a more flexible way. Mays, you were on the panel with the We Power Tech, Women in Tech, talking about diversity. How has diversity changed with the technology innovation? Actually, the diversity within the workplace is, uh, is um, uh, a very, uh, significant and important driver for innovation. And uh, we at Aramex, we're very proud, uh, and we consider it a differentiator and an Aramex edge uh, to, ha to be a diverse culture. Uh, we have more than 80 nationalities, 30% as I told you uh, of our management team are females. Uh, that, uh, that gives you a wealth of knowledge uh, uh, and also uh, uh, allows you to bring in different age groups of uh, different formats of thinking, different knowledge uh, uh, and background uh, that, that really makes change management easier and uh, we, we, you don't really feel any uh, uh, resistance to, to progress. Well, you're an inspiration. What advice would you give for uh, women out there watching, young girls to professional women, looking at their careers? What's your advice? Uh, everything is, is doable. We understand that we come from a region where there, there has been uh, cultural uh, challenges. However, I, I don't see them anymore, especially when you work with big enterprises. Uh, if you create a balance at home and gender balance uh, with, with, within your family, then you're okay. If you, you can, can do that, you can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything. <laughs> I told my wife, she's amazing. If you have yeah. four kids, she's, she could be the CEO. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on and Thank sharing you for your me. insight. Great stuff. Thank you. Reporting here in Bahrain's The Cube coverage, I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more coverage after this short break.